Japanese forces have landed on Timor. Allied presence on the island is significantly less than anticipated. It will fall within the week. With the capture of Timor, Java will be completely isolated, allowing us to commence our invasion by air and sea. With the fall of Java, the Dutch East Indies will be ours. Action on the sea has been light. However, on March 11th, a large troop ship was sighted by KMA-1. She was rapidly engaged and sunk. The troop ship was indeed armed, and she did manage to get a single hit on Miyoko, scratching the paint. The following day, two small warships were sighted. Bells were scrambled and torpedoes were dropped on the targets. One ship was sent down to the bottom after receiving two torpedo hits. The other limped away. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of War on the Sea as we continue our IJN campaign in the Dutch East Indies. Things are looking really good. Timor was really not occupied, and we have already gotten control of Kopang here. There's still some allied resistance, but not a whole lot. My other task force, which was heading down here, has been redirected, and we are going to land at Dimpasar with about 2,755 troops there. Palambong, uh, the fighting's tough here. There are a lot of allied troops here, but our task forces are moving in and unloading supply there by night. We have 49 command points. I am currently going to save those. It may be best to get some more task forces. I, I kind of want an aircraft carrier or a battleship, something, uh, something a little cooler, I suppose, at this point. And I wanted this task force. Actually, yeah. You know what? You head here. There are 9,000 troops here. We can start siphoning them away from Macascar now that this is completely under our control. And drop them off. I mean, we could initiate the fight for Sarabaya. I admittedly am not too sure how to land troops here at this base. Um, level 2 airfield. Surabaya obviously is a big one. It may be, let's see what we got up here. Quite a bit of supply and engineering and such. It may be a good idea to bombard Surabaya with KMO-1, which is over this way. There is a task force, an allied task force operating in the Java Sea. KMO-1's moving. Uh-oh. Let's see what they're gonna do. Are they gonna unload troops? Doesn't look like it, okay. That's not something we need to worry about. Can we unload our cargo here now? Sure can. What's the damage? Wow. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Get out of here and head up to Macascar and grab some troops. This task force once again has just sailed up to Southern Borneo and has now left. Kama one. Oh no. Where's Kama one? Five ships. Very slow below eight knots. Oof, it's going to be a while to get there. How long for these two destroyers? Six hours. We have no aircraft. They are going to land. Oh, they're not landing. They're heading north. Okay, Kama 1. Go get them. Five. One merchant, one destroyer. This is only a group of two destroyers, so I really don't want them to do that. Kama 1 is going to move and engage those merchant ships. Kama 1 has found something out here. New contact bearing 169 ship. 169. Let's see. Misclick there. 169. The submarine. Nope, nope. Clemson class destroyer. Engage. Open fire on that thing. Just a single destroyer, huh? Looks like it. Alright. Engage it. Blow it out of the water, please. Secondary guns, shoot some star shells over her. Just a lone warship, huh? Charging ahead. Very brave of you.
Our heavy cruisers are absolutely blasting this poor Clemson. She is continuing to charge ahead. She has not launched torpedoes as far as I can tell. We actually did get a bunch of command points as one of our ships has left repairs. And it has me thinking, maybe I should get another task force with a heavy cruiser. I mean, there's lots of small allied groups operating about that I'd really like to mop up. And maybe another task force can help assist with that because right now the bulk of our task forces our convoys, uh, they're all supplying troops to various places. Kama 1 really is our only task force um, that I'm using offensively at this point in time. Uh, that is something I'm considering doing. We will see. I'll look at the points cost of various other vessels here. This Clemson, I don't even think, has gotten a single hit on any of my ships. Also, I do want to mention the cruisers that were bugged in the previous episode have been removed from the campaign, so we won't have to deal with that. Um, and they have been removed from the next version of the mod for those of you wanting to play. Okay, let's see. Let's stop shooting star shells, start shooting high explosive. Honestly, we could probably hold fire, but I don't want to give this thing much of a chance. We should shoot HE, please. We only have 70 some rounds of high explosive in the forward magazine here on Chikuma. There we go. Shell's falling. She is very, very low on the water at this point. And I can't tell. Let's change course. Let's start turning. Just in case she's firing torpedoes off. But man. Definitely not a place to be. The Clemson class destroyer is going down. That's one less destroyer that we have to deal with. Let's leave combat. See one command point gain there. Perfect. Came a one. Now, I could split them up. We have three heavy cruisers here. I could be three separate task forces if I just grab some destroyers. Let me look at rest and repair. Okay, we have one destroyer and Tenryu is in there. Oh, I don't remember what we had in repair that just got back and gave us uh, 23 or so more command points. Let's take a quick look here. 75 Congo class battleship. That is, that is mighty tempting. That is mighty tempting for sure. Fuso is not available yet. She will be available in a little bit. It would be cool to get her. I wonder if she's any cheaper. I would think so. Um, and then let's check on the carriers. Hosho, 57. Let's see her complement. Some torpedo bombers. Yeah, that's okay. A fleet carrier would be ideal. Ruyo. That's a better compliment for sure. Kates. Lots of Kates. No vowels. So are you. Anyway, this is kind of my my debate because, like I said, we have lots of merchant ships. Not too many warships. Not too many warships. We'll see, though. Let me check at Palombong. Balance of power is about even now. We're doing good here. Puyo, you won. Come up and grab some troops. I cannot believe that Tempasar is as undefended as it is. It makes me wonder what bases here on Java are going to be less defended. Uh, Batavia would be great to capture. Hmm. But we will see. Batavia may be first. Silanyap is going to be one of the harder bases to occupy because it's really far. So that's why taking Batavia first and then swinging around would be good. So that's that's it. Palembang, we want to capture first though, I think. I think I'm getting a little too ambitious. We don't want to move too quickly uh, in our invasion of Java. Here we go, we found another task force. Kama one's moving to intercept. Five ships moving really slow below eight knots. This has got to be freighters. Found them. They are quite far, 17 kilometers away. We are going to move in and engage. Let's get a Jake over there. Here we go, we're spotting them. Couple of destroyers and then some freighters here. 
This destroyer is really starting to fire at us quite a bit. Let's open fire on her. With the secondaries as well. Takao. Uh, stop targeting... Uh, you know what? Yeah, stop targeting the merchant ship. Let's hit the destroyer. As much as we can. Fire at it. And then the last few ships in the line will hold fire for the time being. While Chikuma and Takao get to business. Primarily want to take out the destroyer right there. There's another destroyer. Yeah, there she is. Target number four. So two and four are our warships. Okay, the fight seems to be going pretty well. Target number two is smoking pretty heavily. Let's switch targets. Let's begin engaging number four here. Engage four, solutions at just 4%. Takao, go ahead and engage her. Miyoko, how about you begin engaging too? Yeah, open fire. Our destroyers can go ahead and get in on it. They're gonna just burn through ammunition really quickly. That's why I didn't want them to engage. Whoa, we were just hit. Shikuma was hit, some minor damage there. Not a fan of that. You can see that, uh, what, J-Class back there? It looks like a tribal. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, is in a flame. Yeah, fire seems to be spreading across the deck. I'm going to continue to engage four here. Solutions, 45%. Secondaries, send some star shells up over the task force. Try to illuminate them a little better. Once we are within six kilometers, the searchlights will kick on. I don't really want to get that close to them, though. At least I don't want to get that close to the destroyers here. Primary guns are shooting AP. It looks like only two guns are in arc. I still want to close, though, so we'll have to make a do with that. Takao, switch back to target number two. Yeah, she's sitting there. Almost dead in the water. No, I guess not dead in the water. She is moving at 28 knots, but... She has certainly seen better days. Fire star shells for a little bit. Over them. There we go. Good. That freighter over there is armed. Okay, I want my destroyers to shoot at that merchant. There we go. That's a good use of your ammunition. And the cruisers will take care of business with the warships this one has not been hit yet solutions are not getting high enough to actually identify the targets which is kind of surprising we'll keep closing though 10 uh, 10 kilometers or so moving as fast as we can that looks pretty darn good there This destroyer got a little too close, and she took some pretty serious hits, taking on lots of water. She has developed a pretty heavy list to starboard. I am going to switch targets, though, and have Chikuma begin engaging. Target number two, work on that solution. And the other destroyers in the line begin engaging, too. Miyoko, engage target two. Chikuma is opening fire on this one because it's close. And in a pretty good spot. Looks like a lot of our destroyers have ran out of ammunition, so we probably need to RTB and rearm. Let's see, secondaries continuing to fire high explosive. There we go, and our primary guns are almost an arc, our rear two turrets here on Chikuma. Which will certainly help. I mean, gosh, just all those splashes around her towering above the ship. That's a few good hits. A magazine explosion would be quite nice. Quite convenient. Continuing to bracket the target though. She is wiggling around. There we go, that was good. Sa good salvo after good salvo. 
That ENF class looks really rough. The cow continuing to fire. A switch, solution 66, switch to narrow spreads, please. My goodness. It took a little while, but we are getting hit after hit on this destroyer. Let's switch back to the ENF class. Where is she? Yeah, I can just barely see her through all that smoke. Miyoko, turn south, top speed. Begin engaging that merchant ship, please. And they damaged one of our destroyers. Let's take a look here. Yeah, I have some flooding in the bow, but nothing too serious. And we're primarying our destroyers. I guess I figured that was the best chance they had at damaging anything. I can see another merchant ship through the fog out there. And there we go. The J&K is sinking. She is going down. Good stuff. Takao, open fire on that merchant. Chikuma will take care of the ENF class. Takao will go ahead and turn and begin chasing him down. The second destroyer is dead in the water, so she's no longer a huge threat. The rest of our formation is just breaking off and pursuing the two merchant ships. Merchant M2 is sailing away. We don't have any good hits on her. Miyoko, what's your solution? Solutions 45%. Let's see. Oh, we still have plenty of ammo on her. I have a feeling Oh, we still have 400 some rounds on to Cal. The ammunition situation is actually quite good for us, uh, besides our destroyers themselves. And this little thing is not re going to require much ammunition at all. The second destroyer is going down, and unfortunately, a fire has broken out on Takao. We are working on getting it under control. Takao is now engaging the canal class way over there let's just shoot narrow spreads of high explosive one hit ought to do it our other ships are engaging the last merchant way out here which is trying to run away making eight knots Here we go, after action report, all ships were destroyed. And we can see we gained five command points for that engagement. Fantastic. Well, folks, that is going to do it for today's episode. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off and I'll see you all on the next one.